from the gym at Hales Franciscan High School. It's GWBA basketball on this very warm Saturday, June 30th. Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Fleischman, and coming up today, we have the Chicago Breeze with a record of 2-1, and one, taking on the Illinois Hoopville Warriors. They come in with a record of 0-3. Thank you very much for joining us today for what is sure to be an exciting contest. Of course, the Chicago Breeze took a trip up to Milwaukee and did not enjoy the confines of the Alverno Gymnasium last weekend as they suffered a 64-83 loss to the Milwaukee Aces as Milwaukee established themselves as the cream of the crop up with the Flint Monarchs on top of the GWBA standings. So the Breeze have a chance to get back on track and joining them today is Bree Blair who was not with the team last week as they struggled up in Milwaukee. Bree Blair back to make a difference, run stuff from the point and provide her usual tenacious speed and ball handling and defense. Of course, Akaya Taylor, MC Smelzer, Keela Beecham, Zaporia Smith, Jaleesa Olive, all the group along here with her. And in attendance today, but not playing, will be Angelina Williams coming off an MVP season down in the Women's Professional League in Ecuador. And before we do, we will chat with head coach of the Chicago Breeze, Duvall Richardson. This is GWBA Basketball. I'm Mike Fleischman. GWBA Basketball, Chicago Breeze taking on the Illinois Hoopville Warriors. I'm here with Coach Duvall Richardson. Coach, a tough, tough road trip up to Milwaukee. What was it like in practice this week? What was the energy and the attitude like? And uh, how are you looking to bounce back? I think this was the most focused we've been all season long after that tough loss. Um, uh, I think we're ready to come back. I think we got a statement to prove tonight and um, we're ready to get ready you know, for this upcoming run. Coach, it's a very hot day. The gym is not cool today. Um, how are you going to uh, adapt with the game plan to the uh, the conditions inside? Well, they know, give me about three, four minute stretches, and then we're going to come in with a whole new five. We're just going to keep rolling that way. But at the same time, we've been practicing in the gym this hot, this whole weekend, this whole week, so we're pretty used to it. The Warriors come in winless so far on the season. Uh, talent level maybe isn't up to uh, up to the rest of the GWBA, but a, a winless team on the road has uh, can be very dangerous. Um, how do you make sure the team doesn't look past their opponent today? And like you said, this is pretty much sometimes it can be a trap game where you're not taking the competition as serious as possible. But the key today, we, we talked about execution and communication. That's what we're going to do today. And uh, Bree Blair back with the team after not being in Milwaukee. Uh, what is... Uh, Talk about what she means to this team and what, what she's going to do today. Well, she is the stabilizer. We were lost. Every We had, like we said on the board at, in Milwaukee, next lady up, but we really missed her. I'm so glad she's back. She said she, she won't miss another game. All right, good luck today, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. I want to thank our officials, Miguel Emil, Kina Brown, and Jamelia Wilson. Appreciate them very much. 
as the starters come out to center court. It's Carson Morgan, Smith, Cook, and Smith for the Warriors. And on the other side, it's Bree Blair, Shante Glenn, Ariel Easton, Akaya Taylor, and Kendra Shelton. It's time for tip-off here from the gymnasium at Hales Franciscan High School. Breeze in their home white. Warriors in the black with the yellow numbers. Here's the tip and we are underway. It's Easton up top. Easton working right wing up top to Bree Blair. Bree Blair has Carson out on her. They clear it out for Blair. Ball swings right to Easton. Easton likes the three and she likes it. It's down. Three nothing Breeze. Here come the Warriors. Smith takes it, takes the dribble left, likes the free throw line jumper. Smith has it. Three to two. Here comes Bree Blair pushing the tempo. Bree Blair. Drive and kick, Shante Glenn puts it back up top to Akaya Taylor. KG fake, throws it away. Three rims out. Out of bounds, it'll stay Warriors basketball. Warriors breaking out of their inbound formation. Here's Smith with a turnaround hook. No good. Ariel Easton with the rebound. Here comes Easton pushing the tempo. Too much for Akaya Taylor. Out of bounds. Second turnover charge to Taylor as that glanced off of her hand. 3-2 to two in the early going. There's Bree Blair causing havoc in the backcourt. Ball is handed off to Sierra Morgan. And we have the first time out of the game charged to the Illinois Warriors. 3-2 in the early going. A couple of miscues for, for the Chicago Breeze. A couple of turnovers. One made three by Easton. Breeze, of course, coming off of a 19-point loss up in Milwaukee in Alverno College. Breeze looking to respond. They, of course, have their creator, Bree Blair, back up top, pushing the tempo. And Bree Blair means so much to this team. Not only can she get the ball down, she can create, she can drive to the basket, but she's also the most tenacious defender and she really sets the tone as far as effort and hustle go for this team. Huddle breaks, the original starting five still out on the floor for the Chicago Breeze. Morgan to inbound right in front of us here at the scorer's table. Morgan gets it into Carson. Bree Blair once again just hassling the ball handler. They go into the corner. Shot is wide. Bree Blair with the rebound, her first. Here comes Blair. Blair breaking it down. Dribbles to her left. Blair up and finishes. Rebound and a two for Bree Blair. Five to two now the score. Your Chicago Breeze leading. Eight minutes left to play here in the first. Hassling defense up top. Now here's Smith. Kendra Shelton on her. Ariel Easton comes and... Shelton just lets it go. Nice rebound by Shante Glenn. Glenn kicks it off. There's Ariel Easton for three. And Ariel Easton has six. Eight to two. Whistle play will stop as the net became tangled. And now checking in for Kendra Shelton is number double zero, Keela Beecham. So Beecham in the game with some size down low. This will be Veronica Smith handling up top. Eight to two, 7.33 left to go here in the first quarter. They'll bring Beecham all the way out on Smith. This looks to be a good matchup. They switch Akaya Taylor and a little pick and roll between the two Smiths. Rebound by Glenn, that's already her third. Glenn pushing the tempo. Glenn with a pull up free throw jumper. Too strong Akaya Taylor trying to finish on the offensive rebound. No good, here's Shante Glenn. Stealing the ball away. Steal by Shante Glenn into Bree Blair in the corner. Shot is no good. Shante Glenn getting a lot done on the stat sheet so far. Keela Beecham hounding Veronica Smith. They bring the double team over. She has to kick it out. Ball swings left to Morgan. Morgan puts Ariel Easton in her back pocket. Shot is up and no good. 
There's a rebound controlled by Shante Glenn up to Akaya Taylor and through to Ariel Easton. Ariel Easton has eight. Shante Glenn has already come down with her fourth rebound and give the assist on that play to Akaya Taylor. 6.42 left to go. Breeze start the game on a 10-2 run. Boy, it's hot in this gym, but we've seen no lack of effort so far. Ariel Easton getting it done early going. She has eight of the Breeze's 10. Bree Blair has put in the other two. Meanwhile, Shante Glenn from the guard position has pulled down four rebounds, has an assist to her credit already. Blair, Taylor, Easton, Beecham, and Glenn. Five out on the court for the Chicago Breeze. 6.42 left to go here in the first. Morgan inbounds to Smith for the Warriors. Assistant coach Creighton calling for ball pressure. Akaya Taylor brings it up on Smith. Morgan with a nice post move. Morgan rolls it through for the Warriors. 10 to four. Here comes Shante Glenn with an aggressive move to the left in the lane. Shot is no good. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. That is number eight, Cook. 10 to four. Dangerous cross court pass. Smith controls that. Smith working up top, gives it to Smith. Veronica Smith throws a bad pass, and that's a turnover on behalf of the Warriors. It'll be Chicago Breeze basketball. Deanna Stiles checking into the game, number 11. Of course, the Chicago Breeze have their brand new home uniforms for the season. Stiles in the game, gives it to Bree Blair. It is 10 to four, Breeze over the Warriors. 5.40 left to go here in the first quarter. Up top, it's Bree Blair. She swings the ball right. Ariel Easton thinking about what to do with it. There's a nice tip by Morgan. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay Breeze basketball. Yes. There's a bad pass to turnover. Bree Blair almost takes it away. Trapping defense, there's a collision. And we're gonna have a fir our first foul called. They'll get double zero, Keela Beecham. First team foul on the Chicago Breeze. So one on Beecham. We're seeing Beecham being called a defend out on the perimeter today. That ball tipped off of Beecham's calf. 12 seconds on the shot clock, Bree Blair is gonna get nabbed for the personal foul. So a couple of personal fouls on this possession. That's Bree Blair's first, the team's second. Veronica Smith once again taking the out of bounds play for the Illinois Warriors. It's 10 to four as the Breeze ran out on a 10-2 run to open this game. Keela Beecham with some tough defense, throws it out to Victoria Smith. Now here's Carson. Carson goes around the pick to her right. Carson with the ball fake, goes to Smith. Smith with the three, it's up and good. So now it's 10 to, 10 to, 10 to seven. There's Akaya Taylor putting it in for two, and now it's 12-7. Ariel Easton takes the ball away, and Easton going right back up. They'll get Veronica Smith for the foul, put Ariel Easton on the line to shoot a couple of free throws. So a 12 to seven game. Ariel Easton has the steal. First shot is up and no good. Checking into the game for the Chicago Breeze, it's MC Smelzer, she'll replace Akaya Taylor. So Ariel Easton off on the first, she'll get one more. 444 left to go here in the first quarter. Ariel Easton is up and no good. Keela Beecham trying to retain that ball. She can't do it, it'll be out of bounds. It'll be Warriors basketball. So an empty trip for Ariel Easton. Ariel Easton 0 for 2 from the line, but she has eight points already in the early going for the Chicago Breeze. There's some full court man-to-man -man pressure by the Chicago Breeze. They get it ahead to Carson. Carson is now trapped. Carson goes off to Smith, Smith to the other Smith. 
Three is up on the way. It's no good. MC Smelzer with the rebound. Here come the Breeze. It's up ahead to Easton. Easton crosses it over. Easton dribbling right. Keela Beecham puts it on the floor. Keela Beecham's shot is up and no good. And the rebound goes to Veronica Smith. Empty trip for the Breeze. Here come the Warriors. 12-7. 4-17 left to go. Smith looking to post up Smith. Dribbling it back out. Beg pardon, that's Cook. Cook is in trouble, guarded by Styles. Gets the pass into Smith. Smith in a crowd. Her shot is up, no good. And she is fouled by number 31. That's MC Smelzer. So that's Smelzer's first foul of the game. Third team foul on the Chicago Breeze. So at the line for two is Victoria Smith. First shot is up and absolutely no problem for Victoria Smith. It is now 12 to eight in favor of the Warriors. Coming in for the first time, it's Jalisa Olive. She is a gunner from the backcourt. One more shot for Victoria Smith from the charity stripe. Right hander is up and no good. Keela Beecham with her first rebound of the game. Bree Blair has the ball taken away. That's a tenacious play. Ball swings on the wing to Carson. Carson and an official collide. And they will say that is last touched by the Warriors. We have a whistle. Play will stop. Bree Griffin, a new member of the Chicago Breeze in the game for the first time. First action of the GWBA season for Griffin. 12 to eight, Griffin dribbling it up in the backcourt. Crosses over to a left, now back over to a right, gets the pick from Beecham. Now gives it to Deanna Stiles. Deanna Stiles has Cook on her. Deanna Stiles rolling, turns in the lane, a little sky hook, no good. Smells her fighting for the rebound. Rebound goes to Keela Beecham. Beecham with a pump fake, goes up for the shot. She is fouled. Beecham's first free throw is up and good. Kendra Shelton will check in at the next dead ball. Beecham's second is up and no good. Morgan handling the ball now for the Warriors, guarded by Jaleesa Olive. Morgan likes the three. Three is too strong, bounces over the backboard, out of bounds, and it's Breeze basketball. Thirteen to eight in favor of the Chicago Breeze. Jaleesa Olive bottled up up top by Minner. Olive likes the shot, no good. Rattles around. Rebound comes out to Morgan. Morgan with a long pass ahead. There's Minner. Minner looking to work against Olive. Swings it back up top. Three is on the way, no good. There's the first rebound of the GWBA season for Bree Griffin. Bree Griffin hands it off to Deanna Stiles. Stiles puts her back to the basket on the left block. Now she goes down low. Smells her. Steps through. Can't finish. Smells her. Cannot get her own rebound. Remains 13-8, 2.32 left to go here in the first quarter. Akaya Taylor will check in at the next dead ball. There's a pass down low, shot up and no good. Rebound by MC Smelzer. Griffin up top. Olive likes that range. No, just a bit too strong. Rebound goes to the Warriors. Carson brings it across the timeline. Jaleesa Olive trying to poke it out. There's a shot from from the corner by Olivia Thompson. Thompson gets it down for two. It is 13 to 10. 
Here's Griffin dribbling right. Griffin brings it back out to the right wing. Hits MC Smelzer in the post. She kicks it to Deanna Stiles. Stiles takes the baseline drive. Stiles up and under. No good. Rebound once again to Morgan. The Illinois Warriors will call timeout. 1.44 left to go. It is 13 to 10 in favor of the Chicago Breeze here in the first quarter from Hales Franciscan High School. I'm Mike Fleischman. Thank you so much for joining us for this broadcast of GWBA Basketball. Once again, want to let you know that the uh, Breeze currently at 2-1, and one, looking, for a, uh, looking for a redemption game after a very, very tough loss up in... Uh, up in Milwaukee in Alverno College taking on the Milwaukee Aces. I want to tell you, the Milwaukee Aces impre impressed the heck out of me in that game. Terry Stamps, a dangerous point guard. They lost Sam Price and Mariah Morton in the first quarter to knee injuries. These are two major contributors for the Milwaukee Aces. They were able to bring Anya Covington off the bench. They were able to get major contributions from Anna Lewin and Julie Rader off the bench. All in all, just a, a tenacious very strongly contested match by the Milwaukee Aces. Their passing was on point, and the Chicago Breeze were frustrated throughout that game. And now, it's no small task to face an undefeated team who's come on the road. It's nothing but, uh, nothing but pride and tenacity that you're going to see out of the Warriors today. Warriors have been very deliberate running their offense. They're getting the shots that they want. Score is thir currently 13-10 in favor of the Chicago Breeze. Veronica Smith's going to have it up top. She's got Kendra Shelton on her. Goes around the pick to her right. Akaya Taylor picks her up. They're looking in the post. They find in the post. They kick back outside. Shot is way short, and there's Ariel Easton. Second rebound of the game. Easton's going to bring it up. Easton crosses it over, crosses it over again. Easton trying to avoid being trapped along the sidelines. Deanna Stiles goes into Kendra Shelton. Kendra Shelton puts her shoulder into Minner, and Kendra Shelton turns it over. It'll be Warriors basketball. Scores currently 13 to 10. 114 left to go. Shante Glenn coming into the game for the Chicago Breeze. Deanna Stiles will have the ball carrier in the backcourt. They give it over to Morgan. Morgan's got Easton on her. Smith sets a tenacious pick. Ball going inside to Minner. Minner likes the shot for two. Too strong. Ariel Easton with the rebound, her third. Here comes Ariel Easton. Pull up from the free throw line. Nice touch by Ariel Easton. Ariel Easton has 10 in the early going here. 48 seconds left to go in this first quarter. Breaks a little bit of a drought for the Chicago Breeze. Meanwhile, the Warriors going into the post up against Kendra Shelton is Smith. Kendra Shelton gets the foul. That's her first, the team's fourth. And on the line, it will be Veronica Smith shooting two for the Warriors. Warriors, Veronica Smith. 15 to 10, Veronica Smith, no trouble on the first one. 15 to 11 now. Keela Beecham re-enters. Kendra Shelton sits down. They're going to set up the free throw line. Pull in number two, Lexi Carson. 37.5 seconds left to go. Veronica Smith on the line. Up and good. No trouble for Veronica Smith. It's 15 to 12. Ariel Easton from the right wing for three, too strong. Deanna Stiles trying to scrap for the rebound. It never goes out of bounds. It'll be Warriors basketball. 15 to 12, 25 seconds left to go. Five seconds separate the shot and the game clock. Minner gives it off. That's Morgan. Morgan looking for the post. Beecham was fronting her. Nice move. As Veronica Smith gets it down, she has six points in the game. Shante Glenn handling it up top. She's got seven seconds to work with. Gets the pick from Taylor. Shante Glenn swings it to Taylor. It's no good. At the buzzer. It goes in. Oh, my goodness. Sierra Morgan at the buzzer. And we have come to the end of the first quarter. It's 15 to 17. Mike Fleischman here for GWBA Basketball, a buzzer beater three. 
by Sierra Morgan has made the score 17 to 15 in favor of the Illinois Hoopville Warriors. A unbelievable three from beyond half court. So setting up the second quarter, it'll be Warriors basketball. You've got Easton, Blair, Glenn, Beecham, and Taylor out on the court for the Chicago Breeze. Dribbling tenaciously there is Carson. Carson hands it off to Morgan. Morgan's up top, guarded by Ariel Easton. Thinks about going left, now a little hesitation. Going into the corner, she finds Smith guarded by Taylor. That shot is blocked by Taylor. Glenn with the rebound. Glenn bringing it the other way. That's rebound number five for Glenn. Finds Taylor on the other side. Akaya Taylor with the first two points of the second quarter. It is now 17-17 as Akaya Taylor gets the basket. It's assisted by Shante Glenn. Oh my goodness. That's a three-point basket by Cook. They will get Shante Glenn for her first personal foul, the team's fifth. So Cook gets the three-point basket and the foul. Looking for the old-fashioned four-point play right here. It is 20 to 17 in favor of the Hoopville Warriors. Up and good for Cook. Good free throw shooting so far by the Warriors. Really the difference in this game so far. Bree Blair handling it up top for the Chicago Breeze. She swings it left. It bounces off Letitia Bennett. And that's an unforced error by the Chicago Breeze. 21 to 17 in favor of the Warriors. We've got 9.09 left to go here until halftime. Warriors inbounding it. Handling is Veronica Smith. She's got Keela Beecham coming out on her to guard the perimeter. Beecham trying to reach in, making Smith go to her right. Smith showing some handles. Smith draws the body up on Keela Beecham. So they will get Beecham for her second personal foul. That is the sixth for the team. So one more foul, and the Breeze will find themselves in the one and one, or the Warriors, I should say, find themselves in the one and one bonus. So with two fouls, Keela Beecham will sit down. MC Smelzer will come back in. So it's Glenn Bennett, Smelzer, Bree Blair, and Akaya Taylor for your Chicago Breeze right now as they trail by four, 21 to 17. 9.55 left to go here until halftime. Posting up on Glenn is Brittany Cook. Cook makes the move. And they'll get Shante Glenn for her foul. That's her second. And so now we're in the one and one bonus for the Warriors. And that puts Brittany Cook on the line. Cook has four. And she'll try to knock this first one down, earn the privilege of a second one. 8.55 left to go here until halftime. Mike Fleischman for the GWBA. First one is up and good from Cook. That is point number five for her as she is two for two from the free throw line. Shante Glenn comes out, Ariel Easton returns for the breeze. Akaya Taylor talking her rebounding mates through their assignments. Cook with the second half of the bonus up and no problems. Some great free throw shooting as Cook has all of the second quarter points for the Warriors right now. Bree Blair crosses it over up top. Bree Blair finds MC Smelzer on the free throw line, kicks it back up top to Blair. Blair brings it back. Blair declines the screen. Now they get Letitia Bennett coming off the curl on the right wing. They go to Akaya Taylor. Akaya Taylor thinking about that baseline. Akaya Taylor right to work, knocks it down. Akaya Taylor breaks the drought. It is now 23 to 19 in favor of the Warriors. Akaya Taylor with her sixth point of the basketball game. There's Cook with the three. It hits absolutely nothing. Bounces out of bounds. 23 to 19, 821. Zaporia Smith checking in for the first time this ball game. Letitia Bennett sitting down. Bree Blair up top. She's got a four-point deficit. She's got the basketball. Bree Blair putting it through. Just walks right through. Can't finish. MC Smelzer gives it to Akaya Taylor. Taylor with the offensive rebound, and it goes out of bounds. Akaya Taylor with her second rebound of the contest. Out of bounds. They'll say last touch by the Chicago Breeze. Zaporia Smith checking on the defensive assignments in the backcourt. Looks like we're going to see full court pressure here from the Chicago Breeze as they trail by four. There's Minner in the backcourt. 
Zaporia Smith picking her up. Now they switch Easton onto her. Minner gets it ahead to Cook. Cook has some free space to work with. Cook up with the nice finger roll. Cook knocks it down. It is now 25 to 19. Nobody stopping the basketball as the Warriors break that pressure. Ariel Easton on the other side. Easton with the pull up and she finishes. That's her first points of the second quarter. It is now 25 to 21 in favor of the Warriors. Nice little pull up baseline jumper by Ariel Easton. Veronica Smith goes to Victoria Smith. Little give and go. Shot is no good. Someone's got to rebound that basketball. It'll be Smelzer up to the task. Bree Blair, shot is no good. MC Smelzer, offensive rebound and finish. Smelzer's first two points of the game on an offensive rebound and a putback. It's 23 to 25 now. Warriors need a timeout. And that's a nice little run by the Chicago Breeze as they bring this score to within two at 25 to 23. It's Breeze versus Warriors. GWBA basketball, I am Mike Fleischman. So far we have seen the Warriors executing their offense very, very well. They're not rushing, they're not really trying to run in transition. They're driving, they're kicking, they're taking the open lane. When no one stops the ball, they're finishing. Meanwhile, the, uh, the Breeze are, are playing their game. They're shooting the three when it's open. They're working down into the post in the baseline when it's not. They're trying to run a bit in transition. And the score currently 25 to 23. 7.08 left to go here until halftime. Some ball pressure by Smelzer out on Smith. Right in front of Duval Richardson. MC Smelzer takes it away. Hey, running the floor is Zaporia Smith. She gives it to Taylor. Can't finish. Offensive rebound Ariel Easton. Can't finish. Offensive rebound Akaya Taylor and the putback. So Easton and Taylor both get a rebound. And then... Victoria Smith... Got the two on the other end. It is 27 to 25 in favor of the Warriors so far. Boy, Brittany Cook having one heck of a second half. She's got three, four, five, six, eight total points as the, uh, the Warriors have so far put 10 on the frame here. Yeah, second. They should have one full. So Chicago Breeze basketball, they're down by two. It's 27-25, Warriors. Teams have played each other even here so far in the second half. We've got 6.34 left to go. Zaporia Smith gives it to Bree Blair. Bree Blair working up top. She swings it right to Ariel Easton. Ariel Easton on the high block. It's Taylor. Taylor steps through. Taylor can't finish. Rebound by Smith. Coming ahead, there's Akaya Taylor with the takeaway. Good job keeping your dribble. Here's Bree Blair working in transition. Bree Blair into the crowd. Puts up a wild shot. Akaya Taylor offensive rebound and puts it back for two. Akaya Taylor has eight in this frame. It's 27-27. Beautiful putback by Taylor who hit the deck hard. No whistle from the referees. No, uh, no justice for Akaya Taylor, but a great shot. There's another takeaway by Taylor. Taylor up ahead at Zaporia Smith. Zaporia Smith with nothing but Breeze around her. Zaporia Smith puts it in. That's her first two points of the game. Breeze now back in the lead, 29 to 27. 5.38 left to go here until halftime. Veronica Smith swings it right to Victoria Smith. There's zero Minner. Minner guarded by Zaporia Smith. They go into the post. Keela Beecham just being shoved around underneath and she draws the offensive foul. That's a... They'll get Victoria Smith for the foul. Keela Beecham with just a tenacious piece of defense keeping her feet set and uh, too much shoulder, too much mustard by, by Smith that time. 
and the Breeze have a chance to expand this two-point lead. Bree Blair switches to her left hand. Bree Blair dribbling left. Goes to Keela Beecham. We have a whistle. Play will stop. They're going to get Lexi Carson with the hold on the jersey. That's the fourth team foul for the Warriors. Warriors have been judicious in their fouling so far as it's 29-27 Breeze. Ariel Easton with the baseline three corner, no good. Akaya Taylor fighting for the offensive rebound. She controls it. Three bound number five for Taylor. Now Easton from the baseline, Easton no good. Akaya Taylor with the rebound and the putback. What a second quarter for Akaya Taylor. It is now 31 to 27 in favor of the Breeze. 31 to 27. Breeze basketball, a couple of offensive fouls on consecutive trips by the Warriors. 31-27, 4.34 left to go. They'll get Akaya Taylor on an offensive foul. That's Akaya Taylor's first. So a turnover by the Breeze that time. 31-27, 4.31 left to go. Warriors basketball, that's Carson up top. Carson dribbles right, Carson looks for the baseline. Double team comes, gives it off to Cook underneath. Back out to Carson for the three, it's too strong. Rebound, that's number 24, Bree Smith. Bree Smith with her first rebound of the game. Ball coming up ahead to Ariel Easton. Trying to go inside to Bree Smith. Bree Smith can't handle it. That is an overplay by the Warriors. You could have blown a whistle there even though you didn't. Cook likes the three on the other end, no good, too strong back iron. Here's Bree Blair. Bree Blair through the crowd. Bree Blair up ahead, can't find Smith. Ball goes out of bounds. That's a turnover there by Bree, by Bree Blair. Smith not waiting for it. Anderson's gonna check in for Bree Blair. So Sierra Anderson seeing her first action of the game, appearing in her second game for the Chicago Breeze. We saw her score one point off the bench in that loss to the Milwaukee Aces. Bree Smith has the ball handler up top. Ball handler goes right past her, and uh, Carson just drives and docks it in for two. We're back to a tie. We're back to 31-29, a two-point deficit for the Warriors. There's uh, Deanna Stiles with too much ball handling. Sierra Anderson takes it right back. Anderson with a head of steam. Anderson into the lane. Anderson draws the foul, and Anderson will go to the line for two. They'll get Olivia Thompson, number seven. So Sierra Anderson earns herself a couple of free throws. 31 points to 29 points currently in favor of the Chicago Breeze. 325 left to go until halftime. Sierra Anderson at the line looking for her second and possibly third points of this GWBA season. First one is up and perfect for Sierra Anderson. Tickles the twine. Nice high arcing free throw. Good motion, good mechanics for Anderson on that shot. Very soft as it leaves her hand. Sierra Anderson has one more. This is now 32 to 29. Anderson's second free throw is up, hits the rim. No good. There's an offensive rebound by Keela Beecham. Shot is no good. Now the Warriors have it. So it stays 32 to 29. In the lane and fouled is Sierra Morgan. So they'll get Deanna Styles, number 11. That's her first personal foul. Ninth team foul on uh, ninth team foul on the Breeze so far. First free throw is up and good for Sierra Morgan. So earns one more on the bonus. 
is now 32 to 30. Rattles out no good. Keela Beecham cleaning the glass for the Chicago Breeze. 32 to 30 as we come up on three minutes left to go. Beecham puts the ball on the floor, drive and kick. Shante Glenn likes it no good. Someone's got to get that rebound. It ends up going into the Warriors' hands. Breeze seemed a little con confused as they, whether they were crashing or not. Smith on the baseline jumper. It's no good. Other Smith gets it back. And uh, Smith and Beecham were tangled up. We have a whistle. We're going to sort this out. They will get Keela Beecham. And that is team foul number 10. So now double bonus situation for the Warriors. 32 to 30. 248 left to go. Third foul on Beecham. MC Smelzer checks in. Keela Beecham having a discussion with the referees. They will not give free throws on that one as there was no actual Warriors possession. Whistle play stops once again. So Bree Blair just got teed up. So first technical free throw is up and good for Sierra Morgan. It is now 32 to 31, and it will be Warriors basketball out of bounds. Thirty-two to thirty-one, two forty-five on the clock. Ball goes in, inside. There's a nice takeaway. Sierra Anderson gives it right back to Smith. Whistle blows. Play will stop once again. They'll get MC Smelzer. That's her second personal foul. So, Warriors now in the double bonus. Veronica Smith will take it to the line for two. Looking to tie up the game, here is Smith. First one is up and good for Smith, no problem. She'll have a second as it's now 32 to 32. Teams are playing each other even so far here with just over 17 minutes gone in the basketball game. Here from the gym at Hales Franciscan High School. Second one is up and perfect for Veronica Smith. Still just impeccable free throw shooting by the Warriors. And they are in this game right now because of that free throw shooting. Sierra Anderson sits down. Bree Blair returns for the Chicago Breeze. 33 to 32 in favor of the Warriors. Bree Blair drive and kick to Shante Glenn. Shante Glenn. Nice little shoulder jab step fake there. Shante Glenn step back. Shante Glenn picks it up. Swings the ball left to Bree Blair. Bree Blair takes it on the floor and it's taken away by Smith. Here come the Warriors. Tipped by Shante Glenn. Controlled by Deanna Stiles. Deanna Stiles finding some open court to work with. Swings it to Bree Blair. Bree Blair takes the baseline. Bree Blair trying to make the extra pass. It goes off of Ariel Easton. And it is now Warriors basketball. Or it'll stay Breeze basketball. Last touch by the Warriors. Shante Glenn's going to take the inbound. Out of bounds underneath the Warriors basketball. Basket. Gives it up top to MC Smelzer. MC Smelzer likes a little jump shot. It's just too soft, too short. Ariel Easton with the offensive rebound shot, no good. And then Shante Glenn with the rebound and it's up and good. So Glenn with the rebound, Easton with the rebound. And now it is 34 to 33 in favor of the Chicago Breeze as we are under two minutes left to go here until halftime. Sierra Morgan. Gives it up to Smith on the elbow. Smith turns around, puts her back to the basket on MC Smelzer, kicks it back out to Morgan. Morgan's three is no good. Shante Glenn giving you another rebound. Glenn up ahead, and Glenn knocks it down for two. 36 now for the Chicago Breeze. 
We have a whistle play. We'll stop, and the Illinois Warriors need a timeout. Minner will check in once we get back going. So a 30-second timeout. It's 36 to 33 in favor of the Chicago Breeze. 119 left to go till halftime. It's hot in this gym, but we've so we have seen the game run a little bit slower than uh, than the Breeze normally like to run. But uh, these teams are uh, still playing each other tenaciously. Again, very impressed by the way that the uh, the Warriors really seem to know who want who they want taking their shots. They know who they want handling the ball. They've done a good job so far taking care of the basketball. And uh, meanwhile, the Breeze just trying to expand this three-point lead before halftime as uh, on paper they are the more talented squad in the GWBA. But the, uh, the Warriors playing a well-coached game as they go into Cook in the post. Cook knocks it down. Count the basket for Cook and Deanna Stiles on the foul. That's her second personal foul. Akaya Taylor's gonna check back in. So an old fashioned three point play attempt for Cook who's just doing damage here in this second quarter. Cook looking for her 11th point to tie this ball game back up at 36. Cook is perfect from the line. I've been talking about it since we started. Good free throw shooting by the Warriors. Back to Tide, one minute left to go here until halftime. Bree Blair, hand off to Shante Glenn. Glenn dribbling left, gives it back to Blair. Blair has the baseline if she wants it. Blair with the pull up, Blair with the two. Four points for Bree Blair as it goes to 38-36. Warriors pushing it up ahead. Warriors take baseline, shot is no good. Akaya Taylor gets her seventh rebound of the basketball game. Get it up ahead to Ariel Easton. Ariel Easton likes the three. It's good for Ariel Easton. 41 to 36 in favor of the Breeze. 33 seconds left to go until halftime. In the lane, nice cut to the weak side by number seven, Olivia Thompson. It's 41 to 38. Shot clock is, shot clock is just one second under the game clock. Bree Blair with the take, with the finish, and it's 43 to 38. 10 seconds, nine seconds left to go. Bree Blair with the takeaway. Ariel Easton likes the three. It's good for the Breeze. Three for Ariel Easton. At halftime, an eight point lead for the Chicago Breeze. They extend it out to 46 to 38. Couple of late threes getting it done. Oh my goodness, folks, this has been an exciting one so far. 46 to 38 at halftime. I am Mike Fleischman. This is Chicago Breeze Basketball. We will be back for 20 more minutes of GWBA action in the second half from Hales Franciscan High School. Glenn with the basketball. Glenn gives it to Bree Blair. Puts Carson in her hip pocket, dribbles right with a little hesitation. Hand off to Glenn. Glenn moving to her left now. Glenn with a little space to work. Glenn likes that pull up from 10. And Shante Glenn has the first two points of the second half for the Chicago Breeze. 48-40, lead goes back out to eight. 9.24 left to go here in the third quarter. Mike Fleischman for the Chicago Breeze. GWBA basketball right here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for joining me. Ball goes out of bounds. That's a turnover on the Warriors. It's Breeze basketball now. Shante Glenn gives it to Bree Blair. Bree Blair thought about a three-quarter court pass and then says, nah, not going to do that. Bree Blair putting it on her right hand, hand off to Easton. Easton up top. Taylor with the post up. Taylor moves in on Smith. Taylor with a step back. Nice give to Beecham. Beecham can't finish. There's a rebound to Smith. Frustration there as they drew it up, just couldn't finish it. Bree Blair with the overplay on Carson. Carson down to Smith. Now they go back up top. That is Victoria Smith. Long two for Victoria Smith. It's 48 to 42. Bree Blair working up top. She's got Carson on her. Carson's shoe has come on Velcroed. And Bree Blair goes all the way through, can't finish. Duval Richardson is furious. And now it's going to be Smith bringing it up. 48 42, 827 to go in the game. Four to two in favor of the Warriors here in the third quarter. There's an overplay. Carson gets it off of her own shoes. Akaya Taylor with the rejection. It'll go out of bounds. Stay right here with the Warriors. Akaya Taylor coming up, skying for it, knocking it back down. It's 48 to 42. A 
We're going to have a, uh, a conference here as to where the shot clock should be, I believe. We're going to run the shot clock down to seven as the referees confer here. We'll get the official call for you in just a moment. Shot clock has been placed at seven seconds. Shot clock is placed at seven seconds. There's eight minutes and 15 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. It's Warriors basketball. They're down six. Cook throws the inbound pass to Akaya Taylor. Akaya Taylor steps past Smith. Akaya Taylor with the finish and one. Oh, my goodness. Akaya Taylor. That foul will go on Veronica Smith. Foul on either team. So one team foul for the Warriors so far. Kaya Taylor with the chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. Kaya Taylor is up. It rattles around. It's no good. Keela Beecham scrapping for the rebound. She can't control it. So Kaya Taylor off on the free throw. Uh, Breeze are now two of seven on free throw attempts. Meanwhile, 11 of 13 are the Warriors on free throws. If the Warriors stay in this contest, it'll stay Breeze basketball. Kaya Taylor puts it up. It's no good. Smith, so they'll say last touch by the Warriors there. I didn't quite catch it, but uh, that's what happened. Kaya Taylor tried to take it away again. Kaya Taylor just met some young fans here at, uh, at Hales Franciscan as she dove for that one. It'll stay Warriors basketball. Akaya Taylor, it's very hot in this gym. She's given 20 minutes of hustle so far, and she needs to give 18 more. Carson loses the dribble. Bree Blair saves it to Beecham. Beecham is going to put it on the floor. No one's stopping the ball on Beecham. She kicks it to Akaya Taylor. Taylor with the head fake. Taylor driving kick to Easton for three. Knocks it down. Three for Easton, brings it out to 51-42. Biggest lead for the Breeze at nine. 51-42, 7.30 left to go. Easton racking up the points, putting them in her pocket. There's a long two, no good off for Morgan. Rebound by Shante Glenn. Boy, Shante Glenn doing some good work on the glass. That's already eight rebounds for Shante Glenn. Some disruption by the Warriors in the passing lanes. It'll be Shante Glenn to inbound it. Shante Glenn wearing the game face right now. All business, cleaning the glass, working with a little 18-foot pull-up jumper. Shante Glenn has eight, and the score is now 53 to 42. Bringing out the double figures out of the breeze. Underneath is Cook. No one's around her. She lays it in for two, 53-44. Bree Blair. Bree Blair stepping up, handoff to Glenn up top. Glenn working on the right wing. She's looking, looking at Cook. Goes to Bree Blair in the corner. Keela Beecham trying to take the inbounds pass. Cook ties her up, and we're going to have a jump ball. Keela Beecham can give you a lot of things. Having some trouble catching the ball on a normal post up, though, on the entry pass. Pass might have come in a bit low, and the refs are really ignoring the overplay from, uh, from behind the post player. So we're going to have a jump ball. It'll be Akaya Taylor jumping up against, uh, that is Victoria Smith, number nine. Everyone's making sure the floor is nice and grippy. I'm Mike Fleischman. It's 53-44, Chicago Breeze over the Warriors. 6.40 left to go here in the third quarter. We're having a moment here, and we're ready to go. Jumps up, and Beecham tips it out to Bree Blair. Bree Blair. Bree Blair likes the three, can't get it down. Akaya Taylor with the rebound, and the putback for two. Akaya Taylor getting it done. Akaya Taylor has 16 in the ballgame. It's now 55 to 44. Leads back out to 11. Smith with the three, no good. Easton. With the rebound, it'll stay Breeze basketball. That's a team rebound by the Breeze as they could not quite figure out who was going to actually rebound that. Zaporia Smith and uh, Kendra Shelton return for the Chicago Breeze. So Taylor, Blair, Shelton, Zaporia Smith, and then that's Ariel Easton out there for the Chicago Breeze as they are up 11. We're under, coming under six minutes to go. Bree Blair takes it left. Bree Blair with the drive and the finish. 
Bree Blair has eight, 57 points now for the Chicago Breeze, 57-44. Ooh, there's a nice little step back hesitation by Carson. Carson knocks it down for two. It's 57-46, lead stays at 11. Bree Blair uh, saying like, hey, you can't hand check me. Bree Blair getting some instructions. Carson trying to protect the lane against her. Bree Blair with a step back crossover. Bree Blair through the lane, teardrop floater. Keendra Shelton, offensive rebound and a putback. Keendra Shelton has for her first two points of the basketball game. 59 to 46 now is your score here from Hales Franciscan High School. Some full court pressure with a lead by the Chicago Breeze. Love this tenacity right now. Ariel Easton up on top. Now here's Carson. Carson guarded by Blair. Carson likes the three. It's no good at all. Offensive rebound going to be tied up. Carson finally gets it. Shot is too strong. Keendra Shelton. With the rebound, and they're going to get Carson for the personal foul. So they'll get Carson for the foul. So no team fouls so far on the breeze so far. Doing some official scorekeeping here at your scorer's table as uh, we are are a trio of of hardworking folks down here. Linasia Lee, our director of basketball operations, to my left, to my further left, it's Tommy Arain. We're keeping all the numbers, keeping it right. It's 59-46. I guarantee you that right now. It's Chicago Breeze basketball with a 13-point lead, and we're under five minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Hot. Hot, sunny day, sunny Saturday on this final day of June, month of July, coming in with a uh, with a whole bunch of uh, bunch of sun right now. Beautiful pass, Kendra Shelton. Can she finish it? Not nah, too strong. That's going to be out of bounds, and they'll say last touch by the Warriors. It'll stay right here. Nope, they'll get a personal foul there on Sierra Morgan. That's uh, the third team foul. First team, first personal foul on Sierra Morgan. We have a substitution at Sierra Anderson. Checking in for Bree Blair. Bree Blair with a big smile. She comes back to the bench to have a word with Duval Richardson. Stays Bree's basketball on that foul. Three team fouls now. So the uh, the Warriors who were so judicious about their fouling in the first half, not so much now. Sierra Anderson just throwing up a wild shot. It gets blown off. And we've run out of time on the shot clock. So Sierra Anderson held onto it a bit too long, even though she put up a wild shot. So now Warriors basketball, they have a 13 point deficit to work with. Sierra Anderson battling. And they'll get Sierra Anderson for that foul. That's Anderson's first foul and the first team foul of the second half. So a. Uh, it's a physical matchup right now. Sierra Anderson and uh, and Lexi Carson are uh, are having a little bit of a, a conversation with their elbows and shoulders currently in this ball game. 4:23 left to go. Warriors, nice cross court pass. There's Carson in the corner. No good. Ariel Easton pulls down the rebound. For Easton, that's six rebounds. She pulls it back, facing a little uh, three quarter court trap now. Sierra Anderson. Sierra Anderson, watch out when she gets moving north and south. She kicks it left to Easton. Shot is no good. Kendra Shelton with the rebound. No good. Akaya Taylor with the rebound. Puts it up, and it's no good. So a rebound for Shelton, a rebound for Akaya Taylor. We have a whistle. Fouls called. So they get Morgan. That's her second personal foul. Fourth on the team. Puts Akaya Taylor on the line for two. Kaya Taylor has not gone to the line yet in this game. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, she has. She has one miss. Now she's one for one. 17 points for Akaya Taylor in this contest to go along with nine rebounds. Getting up on that double-double. She's the first player in our double-double watch for the Breeze. She's got the points for it. I'm pretty sure she's going to get the rebounds. Akaya Taylor up and perfect on the second one. So uh, two for three are the Breeze so far. 
as the score is now 61 to 46. Breeze starting to pull away and maintain that lead. Carson goes to Smith, now back to, uh, to Morgan. Morgan puts up the shot, whistle's gonna blow. And they'll get Ariel Easton on the foul. So three free throws as Ariel Easton picks up her first personal foul, second team foul. But it's a costly one as it puts Sierra Morgan on the line for three. And uh, despite some half court heroics, you just gotta let Sierra Morgan shoot that shot from the top of the key. Can't be in her business like that as the first free throw is up and good for Morgan. 61-47 now, 3.45 left to go here in the third quarter. Chicago Breeze basketball, they're playing the Illinois Hopeville Warriors. Second free throw is up and good. Checking in is Bree Griffin. Saw some limited action in the first half. She's checking in for Ariel Easton. One more toss for uh, for number f number five, Sierra Morgan. It's up, it's rattling around, it's good. Three for three from the line. That's a gift from the breeze to the Warriors. Sierra Anderson goes behind the back. Now Sierra Anderson wants the pick. Now she kind of slips the pick to Smelzer. Smelzer with a nice open look. Smelzer knocks it down. Two points for MC Smelzer. Morgan brings it up. 63 to 49. Three pointer on the way, no good. Smith with an offensive rebound gives it to Cook. Cook takes the baseline. Cook travels in to a whole bunch of people. They're gonna get Zaporia Smith on her first personal foul. Team's third. So it's gonna be side out. 19 seconds on the shot clock for the Warriors. Cook inbounds, nice no look inbound pass to, uh, to number two. That shot is no good. MC Smelzer on the rebound. That's rebound number four for Smelzer. Zaporia Smith thinking about a lot of stuff up top of the key. Nice triple threat, gives it to Shante Glenn, no good. Shot is no good, and then underneath is Morgan. And they're gonna get Shante Glenn with her third personal foul, fourth team foul. We are under three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Four team fouls on both squads. Akaya Taylor is gonna hold off and not sub in at this time. 63 to 49, 14 point advantage. Up ahead to Smith. Smith lays it in. Victoria Smith, it's 63 to 51. Warriors would like this game to not be in double digits. We have a substitution being made right here. Akaya Taylor coming in and uh, Kendra Shelton going out. There's Akaya Taylor underneath the basket. Going, off and going for an offensive rebound, can't find it. It'll stay Breeze basketball. 63 to 51. There's a takeaway by the Warriors. And tripping and falling with it is Minner. That's an unforced error. And it'll be Breeze basketball. So they're going to say that's a kick ball, actually. And it'll stay with the Warriors. 12-point deficit. 
Smith through the lane, looking for the offensive rebound, and it's controlled, pulled out of there by, uh, by Bree Griffin. That's her second rebound. Bree Griffin up ahead. Bree Griffin takes it herself, can't finish it, and they're going to get a Kaya Taylor on an over-the-back foul. It'll be her second foul. That's the fifth team foul for the Chicago Breeze. It's 63-51. to 51. We are under two minutes to go here in quarter number three. So Warriors basketball, 153 left to go here until the end of the third quarter. Shot by Morgan is no good. Shante Glenn charging through. Shante Glenn with the give underneath. That's a takeaway. Too many hands, not enough possession there by the Chicago Breeze. 135 left to go. And that's a travel on, on the person of Veronica Smith. It's a good piece of defense there by the Chicago Breeze. Just uh, maintaining good position and uh, kind of getting into the head of Veronica Smith. Jalisa Olive is going to replace Shante Glenn. 131 left to go. Olive swings it left here. Zaporia Smith. Zaporia Smith goes to Akaya Taylor, who likes the jumper. It's too strong. Rebound goes to Smith. One and done. 115 left to go. And Jalisa Olive is hassling Smith in the backcourt. Now she backs off a little bit. Eight second violation on Smith. There's a turnover by the Warriors and with a 12 point advantage and 108 left to go. It will once again be Breeze basketball. Zaporia Smith likes the three, the three likes Zaporia Smith. 66 to 51 now in favor of the Breeze. Back up top to Smith. Now to the other Smith on the left wing. Shot is so, so strong. Jalisa Olive with the rebound. 15 point lead, 40 seconds on the clock until the end of the third quarter. Taken away, pockets picked by Lexi Carson. Lexi Carson has it taken back away by Zaporia Smith. And they're going to get Lexi Carson on the foul there. So Lexi Carson gets the foul. Her second personal, the fifth team foul. Akaya Taylor is going to inbound the basketball at half court. She's got 34 seconds to work with on the clock, 24 on the shot clock, 66 to 51. Crossover by Jalisa Olive, step back. She swings it to her right. There's Griffin, Griffin stepping into the lane. Drea Griffin just walked with it. Jumped up, came down, didn't do anything with it. So uh, Griffin with a mistake there leading to the turnover. It's going to be Warriors basketball. They're going to say side out. The Warriors maybe trying to slow down the tempo here by walking very slowly to where they want to uh, inbound this. It's so hot in this gym. These, uh, these women doing such an amazing job uh, playing in these conditions, staying hydrated. Yeah, there's an overplay underneath, and oh, Smith is able to pull it out and put up the shot. What a tenacious move by, by Victoria Smith. They're going to get Akaya Taylor for her third personal foul, the team's sixth. They'll put uh, Victoria Smith on the line for two free throws. Sixty-six to fifty-one. First free throw is no good and off, and she'll get a second one. Miss. So 66 to 51 is our score. One more free throw here for Victoria Smith. A little moisture on the court hath been mopped up. 11.5 left to go. Victoria Smith at the line. Soft shot up, no good. MC Smelzer has it, 11 seconds to work with. Smelzer got to give it to somebody. Smelzer got to take it herself. Smelzer got to put it up. Here's Aporia Smith going up towards Aporia Smith. 
with one second on the clock. It's no good. And at the end of three, it is 66 to 51 in favor of the Chicago Breeze. A 15 point lead here from Hales Franciscan High School. I'm Mike Fleischman, this is GWBA Basketball. We'll be back for the fourth quarter. 30 minutes gone, 10 minutes to go. Chicago Breeze with a comfortable 15 point lead over the Illinois Hoopville Warriors. Coming back onto the court for the Breeze, it's going to be Taylor, Blair, Griffin, uh, Beecham, and Easton. Meanwhile, we've got Carson, Smith, Smith, Cook, and Morgan out there for the Warriors. Ten minutes to go. Bree Blair working up top. Akaya Taylor showing screen. Now Beecham shows it. Bree Blair got a whole bunch of room to work with. Offensive rebound, Ariel Easton, and the putback is good. Oh yeah, KB. Score goes to 68 as now we have some rough play. Nice overplay right there by, uh, by Keela Beecham. Trying to create some havoc in the passing lanes. Knocks the ball out of bounds. Introduces herself to the Warriors bench. Now the inbound play, 68 to 51 is our score. 9.33 left to go. Cook puts up a shot on the left block. It's no good. We are uh, having a discussion as to who should have that rebound. It'll be the Warriors. Cook is going to inbound it underneath the Breeze basket. 9.28 left to go in the ball game. Inbound pass is tipped. Now here comes Griffin. Griffin is uh, Griffin's fouled there. So they'll get Victoria Smith. That's her second foul. Seventh team foul on team foul number seven. So it's a one and one situation for Bree Griffin, who's looking for her first points in the GWBA. I did not. Thank you. Bree Griffin, first one up and good. And there's point number one in the GWBA for Bree. Bree Griffin. Bree Griffin eyes the second one. It's front iron. It's Akaya Taylor with the rebound and the putback on the left block. There's the double double. 71 points now. A nice three point trip. And there's a steal, knocks it out of bounds off of Smith. Oh, Keela Beecham, she knew right away. She helped the ref out with that one. That's a turnover on the Warriors. And Akaya Taylor's gonna take it out of bounds. 20 point lead, 71-51. In favor of the Chicago Breeze. Bree Blair getting, uh, getting hassled a little bit there by Carson. Carson forces the turnover. Keela Beecham and uh, Kaya Taylor having a conversation as they come back down the court. As Veronica Smith gives it to Victoria Smith. Victoria Smith into a crowd. So they get Bree Blair, that's her second. Team foul number six for the Breeze. 9.04 left to go here. Deanna Stiles will check in at the next dead ball for the Breeze. They have a, uh, I believe a court moisture problem that has now been dealt with. Chicago in general has a moisture problem at the moment. High humidity, high temperatures. There's Carson. Nice passing along the uh, perimeter. Nice little head fake by Smith. Smith, nice dump off inside to Carson. And it's good for two. It's 70 to 71 to 53. 53. Bree Blair puts it in for two on the other side for the Breeze. It is now 73 to 53. There we go. There you go. 
Bree's in control. Keela Beecham with some nice perimeter defense. They'll say last touch by Beecham. Beecham disagrees. Deanna Styles is now checking in for Griffin. He Coaches love the hustle from Beecham. Beecham is disappointed. She wanted possession, but all the same, that disrupts the Warriors. The inbound pass is disrupted by Bree Blair. Bree Blair with the finish too strong. Errol Easton with the offensive rebound. No. Errol Easton with another offensive rebound. No. Errol Easton with a third offensive rebound. No. So three offensive rebounds for Ariel Easton and uh, no points there. So it remains 73-53. We're coming on eight minutes left to go in the game. Dribbling up top as Carson goes back to the top of the key. Smith hands it from uh, from the parking lot and knocking it down is Sierra Morgan for three, 73-56. Now in favor of the Chicago Breeze. Bree Blair getting some instructions from the bench. Carson coming up on her, strong screen by Beecham. And that one is up and that's a two point shot for Bree Blair. Two, two. Two points for Bree Blair and this goes to 75. 75 to 56. Carson, Bree Blair just says, no, it's mine. And she is fouled hard in the backcourt that time by Sierra Morgan. So they'll get Sierra Morgan for the foul. That is team foul number eight. So coming down to the other end is Bree Blair to shoot one and one. Chicago Breeze just looking to finish out this fourth quarter nice and strong. No troubles at all here. Bree Blair with the first one up and off. Akaya Taylor wants the rebound. Can't quite corral it. So Bree Blair misses the first and it'll be Warriors basketball. The three point baskets just have not been falling for the Warriors and they have been shooting them, but so far they have one, two, three, four made three-point baskets on the game. Not enough, not gonna do it. They need more points than that. Carson bringing it up ahead. Carson gets it to Morgan. Morgan likes the three. It's not there. That's an offensive rebound underneath by Victoria Smith who puts it in for two. It's 75 to 58. Breeze cannot afford to, put, to take their foot off the gas pedal here. There's a nice driving kick. Jalisa Olive step back into the corner for three. And Jalisa Olive's got her foot on the gas, ladies and gentlemen. It's 78 to 58. Leads back out to 20. Meanwhile, on the other end, that shot is very short. It bounces out to uh, number five, Sierra Morgan. And just like that, Sierra Morgan give you a couple of three-point baskets. It's 78 to 61 now in favor of the Breeze. Bree Blair, Bree Blair dribbles left, driving kick to Jalisa Olive. She's feeling it, can't find it. Akaya Taylor wants that rebound, cannot get it. Akaya Taylor wants the foul, cannot get it. Meanwhile, on the other side, knocking it down to Sierra Morgan. She has nine in the quarter. It's 78 to 64. Duval Richardson is upset by the situation and he takes his second timeout of the second half. Nine of the 13 scored by the Warriors in this quarter belong to Sierra Morgan, wearing number five. We're underway now. 6.20 left to go in the game. Bree Blair up top, guarded by Morgan. She swings it left to Ariel Easton. Ariel Easton has instructions. She gives it back to Bree Blair as blocked by Morgan. Morgan arriving a little bit late. It'll be Bree's basketball. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Bree Blair is going to inbound it. 78-64, coming up on 6-12 left to go. Deanna Stiles, scrappy point guard, almost has it taken away there by Minner. Stiles puts it on the ground to her left. Stiles looking for the pass. She finds Akaya Taylor. Akaya Taylor bottled up by Smith on the baseline, gives it to Keela Beecham. Beecham gives it to Blair. Blair on the move. Blair is fouled on her way to the basket, and Bree Blair will get a couple of free throws. Hina Brown. Kendra Shelton getting back, ready to re-enter the game. 
at the next dead ball. Now she'll sit back down as Bree Blair knocks down the first. 79 to 64, leads back to 15 as we are under six to play. 5-5-5 five, five, five on the scoreboard, number four. Eyes, flies, knocks it down. Two for two on that trip is Bree Blair. And it's 80 to 64 now. Keela Beecham being asked to apply a little bit of pressure. Smith goes past her. Smith with a little dump off underneath the basket. Get the minner. Kick back out to Smith for three. Way too strong. Rebound by Bree Blair. That's Bree Blair's first rebound of the basketball game. She pulls up. That's a long two. It misses everything. Deanna Stiles tries to save it, but it's out of bounds. Sierra Anderson's going to check in at the next dead ball along with Kendra Shelton. Bree Blair sitting back down, as does Keela Beecham. Smith inbounds this one to Morgan. Morgan having one heck of a fourth quarter here, but not enough for the Warriors. Dangerous pass to Smith. She's looking for uh, Victoria Smith underneath. S Smith is just absolutely hassled and hounded. And then fouled, they're gonna get number 11, Deanna Stiles. That is her third for the team. That is team foul number seven. So one and one in effect for the Warriors. And it'll be Victoria Smith. First one is off and no good. Rebound goes to Anderson. Anderson now pulls it back. Anderson whips it to her left. That's Deanna Styles shake and fake right through the lane. Gets it to fall and one. Deanna Styles, her first two points of the ball game. They will get number nine, Victoria Smith. Tenth team foul, so she earns the double bonus and the N1. So things are looking good right now. At the line to complete but three point play, Diana Styles. 82, it's 82 right now. So 82 with a chance to go to 83. Styles knocks it down, we go to 83. 83 to 64. Smith charging in, and she is called for the offensive foul. That's her fourth foul, Akaya Taylor taking a moment to sit down. MC Smells are getting ready to check in at the next dead ball, which is now. Easton and Sierra Anderson taking care of some uh, moisture on the floor. 5.19 left to go. Sierra Anderson handling it up top as she crosses the half court line and the logo. Sierra Anderson in the left wing. Running out of room, she finds Kendra Shelton. Shelton with a little up and under move. And she walked with it. Double dribble called on Shelton. Sierra Anderson getting some instructions from Duval Richardson. Keela Beecham rejoining her teammates on the bench. Boy, what a game by Keela Beecham tonight. Jaleesa Olive checking, checking in at the next dead ball. Here's Sierra Morgan for the Warriors. Looking for the post, that's Cook. Cook runs into the double team. And uh, We'll have a whistle play, we'll stop there. They'll get Smelzer on the foul, that's her third personal foul. Eighth team foul. So they'll give a, a shooting foul to Cook on that one as she goes to the line for two shots. Duval Richardson and Ben Creighton to my right, cannot believe it. First one is up and good for Brittany Cook. Brittany Cook, who had such a great second quarter scoring 11 points, has been quiet so far. Ariel Easton's gonna come off the court, get high fives, Jaleesa Olive checking back in. Cook with the second of two. Hits back iron and goes off. Kendra Shelton with her third rebound of the basketball game gives it to Sierra Anderson. Sierra Anderson's gonna hold it up, set it up, swing it left, Jaleesa Olive. Thought about it, says no, MC Smelzer now has it top of the key. 
Smelzer gives it to Deanna Stiles. Deanna Stiles wants to make some dribble maneuvers. Deanna Stiles lost the basketball. It's taken away by Olivia Thompson. Morgan gives it up to Thompson. Thompson on the left wing gives it back to Smith. Smith likes the three, no good. MC Smelzer with the rebound. And here it comes the other way. 83 to 65 in favor of the Breeze. Sierra Anderson head fake in the corner. Give off to Kendra Shelton. Kendra Shelton just now ready for the pass. Is a little bit low and goes out of bounds. It'll stay Chicago Breeze basketball. Sierra Anderson to inbound underneath the Warriors basket. Gets it up top to MC Smelzer. Smelzer dribbling with the left hand. Smelzer with the, with the uh, jump shot from the left block. Kendra Shelton with the offensive rebound. The putback for two. It is now 85 to 65, 20 point lead as we come into the final four minutes. Chicago Breeze trying to hang in, hang on, and get done, get out. As they are trying to avenge their loss to the Milwaukee Aces. We have a whistle, play will stop. The Warriors are in the bonus. Meanwhile, the Breeze are in the double bonus from here on out. It's 85 to 67. Chicago Breeze have really benefited from Bree Blair back in the lineup. Bree Blair has done some scoring, she's done some distributing, but most of all, she has worked the ball in transition and guarded the ball handler. Her work in transition, stopping the goal, ball and guarding the ball handler has been what has made the difference for the Chicago Breeze in this game. On paper, this looked like advantage Breeze all the way. It's turned out to be that way. Here's Sierra Anderson running the ball. Sierra Anderson dumps it off to MC Smelzer. It's tied up by Thompson. Thompson wants a high five. Looking very uh, pleased with herself right there. We're going to have uh, Jacqueline Foster and Letitia Bennett checking in at the next dead ball. We're going to have a jump right now. It'll be MC Smelzer with the height advantage over Olivia Thompson. Smelzer and Thompson to jump it up. 3.38 left to go in the game. Ball is tipped around, controlled by Morgan. Here come the Warriors. Jaleesa Olive is hounding the ball handler right now. Looking for somewhere to go with it. She gets it to Thompson. Thompson wants to go somewhere, gives it back to Morgan. Morgan likes the three. The three likes Morgan. Fourth made three in the ball game. It's 85 to 70 now in favor of the Chicago Breeze. Three minutes left to go. I like the play of the Warriors. They've fallen down in the points column, but their, uh, their tenacity and sportsmanship is really in full effect here. Kendra Shelton with a little post move and kick out to Sierra Anderson. Anderson cross court pass to Deanna Stiles. Stiles takes the left baseline, leaves it short. Rebound to Veronica Smith. Veronica Smith handling it up top. She goes to Thompson. Thompson fakes the pass into the corner and out goes back. They reverse court to Morgan. Morgan has Cook in the post, doesn't like it. Morgan wants to handle the ball, put up the three. It's no good, she wants to foul, she's not gonna get it. And it's gonna go out of bounds off of Cook and it will be Breeze basketball. So here comes the bench mob for the Breeze. Jacqueline Foster checking in for the first time. Letitia Bennett returning. Kendra Shelton, Deanna Stiles sitting down. Bench standing up to uh, congratulate the players. It is a 15 point lead, 2.36 left to go in the ball game. 85 to 70. Chicago Breeze basketball. Jaleesa Olive gonna bounce it inbounds to Sierra Anderson. Sierra Anderson, Breeze just wanna take care of it right here, run smart plays in the half court. Jaleesa Olive flashes it into Smelzer. There's a smart play in the half court as Smelzer pushed off with the shoulder and she's called for the offensive foul. That is number four on Smelzer. That's not, a, that's not a team foul. So Minner hounded by Anderson on the turnover. Oh, she didn't, they did not call a half court violation there. I might have wanted to see one. Meanwhile, Veronica Smith knocks it down for two. It's 85 to 72. Jaleesa Olive for three. 
Anything you can do, I can do better, says Jalisa Olive. It's 88. Now the ball flashes up half court. Taken away from Smith by Jalisa Olive. We have a tangle underneath. It'll stay Warriors basketball. Having a bye week next week. And then they'll be in action the week after that. Taking a look at the schedule. The, uh, there'll be a... a uh, a home game against the Indianapolis Bandits, July 14th. Tip-off is at 3 p.m. from right here in Hales Franciscan High School. The sibling rivalry part due is in effect two weeks from now, July 14th. So take the holiday weekend off, folks. Have a good time out there. Fire up the barbecue and the uh, Chicago Breeze, who, uh, barring, barring the Warriors inventing a 10-point shot, are going to be moving to 3-1 and one on the season. They'll be taking on the Indianapolis Bandits, who earned their first victory of the season last week against these, these Illinois Warriors. They'll get Sierra Anderson 17 for the foul. That's the ninth team foul. So one and one situation coming up here for Sierra Morgan. Sierra Morgan has put a bunch of points on the board here in the fourth quarter. First one up, no problem for Sierra Morgan. Like the release from Morgan, it's just a, uh, a nonchalant release of the basketball, whether on the three or the free throw. 88 to 73. Up and good for Sierra Morgan. What a great game by Sierra Morgan played for the Warriors, 74 to 88. Chicago Breeze in control of this one here in the fourth quarter. We're under two minutes, it's 145. Sierra Anderson driving the Chicago Breeze mobile. Up top, guarded hard by Thompson, gives it to Letitia Bennett. Letitia Bennett, nice crossover. Now she's got it in her left hand, switches back to her right. Letitia Bennett putting on the gas as she goes baseline, puts it up, shot is no good. Rebound goes to Cook. Gives it to Morgan. Morgan, snap pass. There's Smith for three, too strong, hits back iron. Tipped back out to Cook for three, too strong. Jacqueline Foster has it taken away by Olivia Thompson. Thompson lays it in for two. It's 88 to 76. Lead is back to just 12 as the, uh, the Warriors get some offensive rebounds. Finally, Olivia Thompson putting it back in for them. Five out there today. Felt like about 147 as now uh, Bree Smith is going to get the basketball inbound it. A little pressure being applied here by the Warriors. Sierra Anderson. Puts it on the ground, goes up ahead to Bree Smith. Bree Smith with a bounce, and she's fouled by Olivia Thompson. Oh, they're going to say tied up by Olivia Thompson. I, uh, I wouldn't have called it that way, but I'm not wearing stripes today, folks, so uh, it's not my call to make. So we're going to have a jump ball between Bree Smith and Olivia Thompson. It was a good pass down the court by Sierra Anderson. So the teams will step to the free throw line. All right, so they're going to get the... Uh, they're gonna get a foul on Olivia Thompson, number seven. So they'll take away the jump ball there. So in the double bonus, Bree Smith will get two free throws. Chance to get the score to 90 here for the Chicago Breeze. First one is up and dropping through the net. Hit the bullseye there, did Bree Smith. Second one is up and hits a bunch of iron, doesn't go down. 89 to 76 now. Smith handling it, now she gives it to Morgan. Morgan flash pass inside to Cook, cutting on the weak side. Cook knocks it in for two. It's 89 to 77, lead's gonna stay 12. We're under one minute to place here. Anderson handling the ball just uh, barely. And uh, Bree Smith has it now. Bree Smith is going to work the baseline. Bree Smith step back. Shot no good. Oh, Jacqueline Foster saves it. Rebound for Jacqueline Foster. That's a good one. 33 seconds left to go. Sierra Anderson with three seconds on the clock. Jaleesa Olive from the parking lot. No good. Rebound by Cook. 26 seconds left to go. 12-point game. Three-pointer on the way by Smith. Hits the front iron. No good. Sierra Anderson has it. That's going to do it. Oh, and was, there's a foul by Morgan. For Morgan, that's foul number four. Double bonus situation for the Breeze. Sierra Anderson will shoot two free throws. Sierra Anderson. 
89 to 77, 17.1 on the clock here from Ailes Franciscan. Breeze moving to three and one on the game with the victory, keeping pace with the leaders in the GWBA. First one hits a little front iron and then drops down for Sierra Anderson. 90 to 77 is our score now. Sierra Anderson up and good on the second. Perfect trip by Anderson. She scored three points all at the free, fr three fr free throw line. That's a sentence. Good job, Jack. 93. Get it across. Or 91, I should say. Final score, 91. 91 to 77 is our final score here as the Chicago Breeze take care of the Illinois Warriors. Warriors drop to 0 and 4 on the season. Meanwhile, the Breeze move to 3 and 1. Heck of a game by the Chicago Breeze in this, uh, this very hot gymnasium. Ariel Easton finishes with 23 points. We're gonna see if we can uh, get her to come over and talk with us for a little post-game interview here as the, uh, the Breeze will all meet in center court right now. Have a little team huddle. Once again, July 14th, next home game for the Chicago Breeze. Sibling rivalry part two versus the Indianapolis Bandits on July 14th. Tip-off is 3 p.m. I want to thank you all for watching our coverage of the GWBA. I want to thank Hami Rain and Laneja, ne Laneja Lee, who are along the, uh, the bench with me here. Fantastic game all around as, uh, as the, uh, the ladies are going to head back quickly to the locker room. Mike Fleischman here with Coach Ben Creighton in a little post-game coverage. Great bounce back win after that tough trip to Milwaukee. Um, I, tell me about uh, what you all did in practice and what you focused on and, and the results that you saw in this game. The focus on practice this week was just getting back to what the style of basketball that the Breeze wanted to play. Uh, once we got back to our identity. We knew we were gonna come in and here and be successful uh, as long as we didn't beat ourselves and shoot ourselves in the foot. Uh, we started out a little slow, wasn't able to execute as much as we wanted to in the first half, but once we settled down in the second half, we just coasted on through. Meanwhile, the uh, the Warriors were particularly successful in that first quarter. It seemed like they were they were very confident in their half court offense. They knew who wanted they who they wanted to be taking their shots. Talk about what you all did to match up against a team that has a very set and determined offensive flow. Um, we we capitalized on the fact that they were only about seven or eight deep, so we had to put a little pressure on them and, and, and beat them to the punch. The first half, they were getting the 50-50 balls. They were beating us to the punch. They just had the effort. Uh, that we didn't have, and once like, again, once I said, like, once we settled down, we locked in, and, and, and we just played breeze basketball. Coach, it's uh, it's not it's not cool outside today. It's not cool inside this gym. Talk no. a little bit about uh, what you all do in practice to be ready for this kind of situation. So, unfortunately, and luckily at the same time, our our, our gym facilities, our practice facilities, is it, just about as humid as it is in here today. So we were kind of used to the temperature. Uh, and the environment in here, and it was just like it was just like practice. After a while, um, we were able to fight through. We just keeping the ladies hydrated, and then you know we were just able to finish the game strong. Uh, we did have a few things that we uh, we we tried to adjust with uh, during during the game, and uh, once we settled in and we locked in and made those adjustments, all the ladies uh, focused in, and we got the W. Coach, I appreciate your time. Congratulations on the W. Thanks a lot, Mike. Have Thank a good you. One. That's going to do it. That's Coach Ben Creighton talking a little bit about the, what the team goes through to be able to be ready to uh, make the adjustments they need and come out with the victory in today's game. So a, uh, so a victory for the Chicago Breeze here. Once again, in two weeks, they will be facing off against the, uh, against the Indianapolis Bandits here in Sibl Sibling Rivalry Part 2. I am Mike Fleischman on behalf of Laneja Lee, Hami Arain, and everyone here at the Chicago Breeze. We also want to say a special thank you to John Maher coming out here today and giving us help on the scores table. Couldn't have done it without you, sir, so thank you very much. We'll see you in two weeks for Chicago Breeze basketball. I'm Mike Fleischman. Have a good one, everyone.